Okay, Assalamualaikum and good day. So, bertemu kita kembali for discussion, uh, the revision and discussion knowledge booster. And today, we are going to discuss chapter 9, homeostasis. And for your information, homeostasis, the marks allocate for your final PSPM is 5.5. Okay, so lebih kurang enam markah. Okay, so let's uh, start our discussion. Eh? Right? So this one is the question for homeostasis. Alright, so let's have a look at the first question. So name the three basic components that make up the feedback system. Okay, so the first one consists of a receptor. Okay, so then mesti ada the information center we call as a control center. And... Then all the information will be sent back via effector. Okay. Right. So what is the function of each component? Okay. So now we have to elaborate. Right. So like a receptor. Okay. So kita paham receptor, receive. So they are the one will detect the uh, changes. Okay. Or receive the impulse, uh, ataupun receive the stimulus, and they must send to control center untuk di uh, analyze, evaluate what is the uh, information. All right. So the next one will be the control center. Okay. So what the control center do? So they will receive the impulse from the receptor. So, they are the one will control, okay, or maintain, okay, the body condition, okay, for any changes for the condition or any changes internally, okay, so physiologically lah. All right, and effector. Right, so whatever information which is sent by the control center, so they will receive the output, okay, from the control center and respond. Okay, so they will be response. So they actually produce the response. Lah. Okay, all right. Okay, alright. So, the first one they ask about the what is the basic component and this one is the function of each component. Okay, so this one is a very basic question. Okay, now let's have a look. Uh, the regulation of body glucose level in the body. Okay, so if you look at the diagram here. So, the first, when the blood glucose is high, still remember, is known as hyperglycemia. Okay, so if low is known as a hypo hypoglycemia, right? So the each changes you have to understand. So pancreas, so if the insulin is high, so it produce the beta cell. Color low, uh, the beta, uh, alpha cell will be uh, secrete the glucagon. Okay, so the basic information about the a negative feedback occur in the blood glucose level. Uh, this one is in our syllabus. Eh? Okay, so let's have a look at the question. What is X? Okay, so this one is alpha cell. Okay, I'm having a problem to write the uh, alpha here. So let's say I'm trying to use this one. Okay, so can I... Oh, jump. Uh, okay. So, jap padam. I actually want to write. Okay, so alpha. <laughs> okay, so this one will be the alpha cell. Okay, X. Okay, and this one will be the yeah, ada buat lagi problem pula. Okay, sebab saya nak juga buat like this. Okay, oh, 
please ignore my B. Eh? So quite very bad. <laughs> Alright, so why? Because here we cannot write as alpha. Jangan tulis A L P H A. Salah. Okay, so you must do the symbol alpha cell from isolate of length. Alright, so make sure Langerhans L huruf sah. Okay, so this one I can copy. So sama juga dekat bawah, this one will be the beta cell isolate of Langerhans. Nampak? Walaupun buruk, but still make sure ya, yeah, you you can write the alpha. And beta, please write as a beta ya, yeah, don't write as a B. Sebab once kalau you pemeriksa nampak dia B, dia akan bagi salah. Sebab dia kata to B, not the beta. Okay, so please be careful when you're writing these two things. Okay, step two way on how glucose is removed from our body. So this one actually is refer this case lah. Okay, so when the glucose level is high, so what happened? So normally used by cell, body cell, as as main respiratory substrate. Maksudnya dia akan increasekan the uh, cellular respiration. Okay, so next, they will be convert and storage okay, as glycogen in liver and muscle. Okay, and mungkin juga will be converted into fat. Okay, and store. In adipose tissue. Okay. Right? So now, let's look at the second question. Alright. So this one is the nephron. A simple structure in our kidney. So if you still remember. Okay. So we can divide our nephron into two main structure. So the first one, we, it's known as the renal corpuscle. And start from the Proximal convoluted tubule until the collecting duct will be the uh, renal tubule. Okay, renal tubule. Right, so all the structure. Okay, I'm sure you're okay with this. Alright, what is the event? Okay, look at the question. Eh? They are not asking the parts. They are asking the event. So the A, which is the renal corpuscle. So here, ultrafiltration is occur. Okay. So then next, B. Right? So here, the reabsorption will occur. So the major reabsorption. Eh? So just write reabsorption. Re okay? All right. C. Okay, this is the uh, loop of Henle. But the process yang occur is a known as Counter current multiplier. All right. And the last one. Okay. All right. And this one is the secretion. The main. Okay. So secretion. Yes. Two factors that contribute to process A. Okay, so apa yang menyebabkan the ultrafiltration can occur? Alright, so due to the high hydrostatic pressure. Okay, so apa yang menyebabkan high hydrostatic pressure? Because the afferent arteriole is larger than efferent. Okay, boleh. Lagi apa? So, highly coiled. Coil gloma. Okay, so sebenarnya banyak the presence of podocyte. Okay, um, uh, apa? The cell. Okay, uh, apa lagi? Okay, so the the permeability, the the increase of the permeability due due to the presence of podocyte or pedicles. Alright, state two factor that contribute process B. And sama, tapi now in process B, which is the major reabsorption occur. So here, proximal 
Okay. P. Yeah. So proximal convoluted tubule is a long and highly coiled. So sebenarnya this one apa dia boleh buat? So increase the reabsorption. Okay. Okay. Normally, it's a cell made by the uh, simple uh, cuboidal epithelial cell. So, it's a consider one cell thick. Okay, so easy for the easy for the reabsorption. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, name any two substance transported in the event. Okay, so transported. So, kita tahu the whole glucose. Okay. Glucose and amino acid, boleh? Okay. Amino acid. Right. Then, kalau dekat lagi satu D. D which is the secretion. So, normally uh, H plus. Okay, and also ammonia and H3. Okay. All right. And last question. This one is about the negative feedback. Okay. The negative feedback which is controlled by the hypothalamus. So, this one is the uh, upper, uh, anterior ke posterior. Okay. You must mention eh. It's a posterior pituitary gland. So, anterior they cover kerja lain. Okay. So, they will cause the permeability in the a distal convoluted tubule and also in the collecting duct. Okay. So, sama ada high permeable or low. So, they akan absorb more water or less water and they also will uh, apa, relate to the what is the urine output. Okay. So, the hormone. So, this one bila ada the feedback mechanism retention, water retention here. So, they will be uh, hormones involved. So, what mean by negative feedback? So it's a reverse uh, change. Okay, reverse a change in in control condition. Okay, so selalunya kalau dia banyak, so dia akan kurangkan. Kalau kurang, dia akan perbanyakkan. That is a negative feedback. Okay. Uh, what is R? Label the hormone. Uh, the label the hormone. R, gland S and organ T. Okay, so hormone will be the ADH antidiuretic hormone. So what is the gland S? Okay, so posterior pituitary gland. Right? And what is the organ T? So where is the target cell? It's a collecting. Describe what happened. When the blood volume decreases. So, first will be detected by osmoreceptor. So, what the osmoreceptor do? Okay, so osmoreceptor will trigger. Trigger the. Of ADH. Okay, wire, posterior, pituitary gland. Okay, so what the ADH will do? So ADH will increase the permeability. Increase the permeability, siapa? The wall. In collecting duct, okay, towards the water. So, bila they increase the permeability, so more will reabsorb. So, bila more reabsorb, so what happened? The urine output will become concentrated. And less. Okay. 
Okay, so last one. Alright, so kita tengok eh. Diabetes insipidus. Sebenarnya kita biasa dengar apa? Diabetes mellitus. Sebenarnya diabetes ni ada banyak. Eh? So, it doesn't matter lah. Yang penting. What they can do? They will malfunction of pituitary gland associated in the regulation of blood water content. Okay, so dia akan effect our pituitary gland regulated about the blood water. So, you can understand here apa yang affected here. Uh, the, the response towards the ADH lah. Okay, so what happened to a person who has a disorder? So, maksudnya whatever yang naturally they can do now due to the this uh, diabetes patient. So, they akan terbalik the process. Okay, so please expect these types of hot question in your final PSPM. Eh? Okay, so what happened? So, water is not efficient to be reabsorbed. Okay. To be reabsorbed. Okay. From the collecting duct. Kita jawab secara umum je. Okay. The collecting duct. So, dia tak bagi situasi air banyak ke sikit. So, what happened? The body produce more, not to produce, like actually body will be absorbed. Release. More urine. Okay. So, maksudnya, uh, this patient normally will have dehydration. Okay, dehydrated. Dehydrated. Okay, dehydrated. Okay, dehydrated problem. Maksudnya, patutnya selalunya diabetes patient, okay, more water should be absorbed in their body. Okay, but due to the malfunction of the pituitary gland in secretion of ADH, so less ADH is collected, uh, so, uh, apa, secreted. So, dia akan menyebabkan the body will be not absorb more water. So, they will be released more water through urine. So, what happened? The patient will be dehydrated. Okay, uh, so this one is a one example of the hot question. Okay, so that's all for the chapter homeostasis. Okay, so next chapter, uh, it's 10, which is the coordination, and 11 for immunity. Okay, see you in next chapter. Okay, bye.